in the lead up to the US elections, much has been said about the behaviour, the policies and the words of Mitt Romney and President Obama. However, as non-verbal communication is responsible for between 55 to 90 percent of the messages we send and receive to others both consciously and unconsciously, it's worth observing the body language of these two candidates to see exactly what they're really feeling and thinking. Much like in the animal kingdom, these two move forward with a purposeful stride and an upright posture. And when it comes to the greeting, the power games are on. Romney stands rooted to the spot with a dominant handshake coming over the top. However, President Obama counterbalances that by stepping forward into his space and patting him on the arm, equalizing their power game. These type of greeting gestures are seen often in business and politics. And basically, he who pats last wins. That's the power game. Hand gestures reflect whether someone's being open and honest or they're hiding something or whether they want to dominate a situation or feel quite passive about it or even angry. Both men use open palm up gestures when they want to engage with their audience and they also both use dominant hand gestures with palm face down when they really want to take charge and get their point across in a clear way. Obama brings his hands back to center after every hand gesture and uses his microphone against his chest, which suggests sincerity. At times, both have used finger pointing, which is a very negative gesture of taking control and often of blame. Recognizing friend or foe in the animal kingdom is imperative for survival, but likewise it is in politics too. Identifying whether someone's giving you a real smile or if they've got hidden aggression underneath can be the difference between building great rapport with someone or understanding a competitive opponent. Both lip corners raise when it's a genuine smile and wrinkles appear around the eyes as the eyes contract. Unlike where there may be hidden aggression or controlled anger, where there may be baring of teeth or micro expressions of lowering of eyebrows, tightening of the mouth or even curling of the lip or lip pressing. These are something to watch out for. Where there's a pulling across the shoulders in clothing can often mean that someone's very tense and are pulling their shoulders forward to protect themselves. This is a defense mechanism and is used as a barrier. Hand clasping alongside fiddling with objects such as a pen can suggest a high level of anxiety also. Other signs of nervous anxiety are lip licking and swallowing, which means that the mouth has become very dry. Noticing how people relate to the people closest to them and the proximity and space between them can tell you an awful lot about how able someone is to relate to people. The distance between people can relate to something going on in their relationship or it can relate to how somebody actually relates to everybody. Communication after all is an art form and it's something that we all need to learn. It's not always naturally gifted to us. Being able to recognize these body language signals and gestures enables you to tell whether somebody's feeling confident or whether they're feeling nervous or anxious or maybe even being deceptive. So it's very, very useful in politics, but also in business. Mitt Romney and President Obama have both shown tenacity and stability and their body language has been powerful incorporating warmth, confidence and power. 
and there's only a small gap between them as to who really is ahead in the body language stakes.